Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do a video, a boil test rather, on this Reddick, I hope that's how you pronounce it, uh, Reddick Civil Defense Corps alcohol stove. I just bought this to add to my collection. Uh, this stove is something that I first saw back in the 60s when I was a teenager. I had a, a tour of a fallout shelter and they had a couple of these in there with big huge cans of uh, alcohol for fuel and I was just fascinated by this thing I mean here was a stove that you could use indoors that used rocket fuel at the time they were using alcohol well, I guess they still do but they were using alcohol in the rockets of when I was a youth and I, I was just fascinated by this thing I didn't get to use one or play with one back then but it's been in the back of my mind ever since. I guess Freud might say that that's why I play around with all these alcohol stoves because I've always wanted one of these. But I got one on eBay. It's a used one. Looks like it's been used pretty good, but it's still in good shape. Uh, basically, it's got two parts. The pot stand part, aluminum ring, uh, says Reddick Alcohol Burner, Toledo, Ohio patent pending. My understanding these were issued out to a lot of the uh, civil defense positions, uh, fallout shelters if you were, would. But anyway it comes in two parts, the top pot stand part and the bottom burner. There's also a, this is kind of a pain, but there's also a plug in here. A plug on the top and there's a plug on the side, a rubber plug of some sort. This is used one to keep the alcohol in here if you leave some in and also to regulate the burn now when this is empty I'll give all the weights and dimensions and stuff down below but uh, I guess this is empty it has a aluminum shell inside I doubt you'll be able to see it in this camera but inside it looks like some sort of a ceramic insert with a hole down the middle so when you put alcohol in here and it looks like a full load would be about 10 ounces but the average run on this I think is 7 or 8 ounces but you, you dump the alcohol in the top with the plug in place otherwise it all flows out here but you pour in the alcohol let it soak set and it soaks up into the ceramic insert then when you light it it sucks air in from this hole on the side there's only one but it sucks in air from here so you can regulate it with this plug see how it's got a taper on it so when it goes in the hole depending on how far in into the hole you push it you get a smaller and smaller gap to regulate the air but then if you push it in all the way it totally plugs up the hole to keep in the alcohol so what I want to do today is give this a try this is definitely not a stove for Graham Weenies. I mean this thing weighs what did I say uh, 26.7 ounces uh, 1.6 pounds or 758 grams for the Graham Weenies so this definitely isn't a Graham Weenie item depending on how this runs this might be handy well I don't know it, it could be handy for a cabin or a car uh, type camping although I'm not sure there's probably other stoves well there are other stoves out there it's just that I've always wanted one of these so what I'm gonna do is pour some alcohol in get some water prepped and I'll be right back to see how this does on a boil test okay I've got my water prepped I've got about four ounces fluid ounces of methanol in here I'm not gonna do a test for how much but just to see how fast now one thing you got to make sure is when you're filling this make sure that this plug is in tight I put started to put the uh, methanol in and I thought it was tight enough and it just came right out the hole so you got to be careful with that now that it's been sitting I don't hear any loose alcohol in here it's all been absorbed by whatever this ceramic thing is inside here so what we'll do now is Try lighting this. Uh oh. 
guess I need a little bit of primer. Let's just add a little bit more. Okay, there we go. I guess it got all absorbed by the ceramic and didn't have any left to start it with. Now one of the instructions on this are kind of <laughs> curious. It said if the flame putt putts, what you got to do is blow some air into this lower hole so that the flames come out, come up and out. Okay, I guess that's going. Now I got to get going. My water is starting to cool off. So we got the flame there. We now take the pot stand, put it over the top, just like so. So I've got two cups of water setting at 59 degrees. And let's see what kind of a boil time we get with this. We're now at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 79, 80 degrees. As you can see, it's not a huge flame. Sorry about the camera, I'm holding it by hand now. But, uh, I don't know, not a huge flame. The distance between the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot on this is way over. I think it was two and an eighth inches. So I have an idea that uh, this thing is just way past the sweet spot for alcohol. But let's see how long it does take to get two cups of water to a boil using this. Well, believe it or not, this has already gone out at 736 it looked like. 736. Temperature's up to 110 degrees. Wow, is that disappointing. Yeah, the pot's not even hot yet. Yep, out. That was a little over four fluid ounces of methanol. I, hmm, I bet you it's tied up in the ceramic and it's not letting it go. So maybe that's what they were saying. Uh, the capacity for this is supposed to be 10 fluid ounces but that the average from what I've seen on some people talking about it was eight fluid ounces and I only did four so it maybe a lot of it just gets lost in the stove the stove itself isn't even hot hmm boy is that disappointing I mean <laughs> I knew it I figured it would be slow but this is ridiculous <laughs> okay so that's my first boil test I want to try another one where I take this off I think the distance between the top of the pot or the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot is let's see uh, yeah two and an eighth inches 54 millimeters I think that's way too far because it's not a it's not a huge flame coming out of this thing and it was wide open I had the the uh, cork or whatever you want to call it totally out so the air was coming in through here and up now one time it did start doing that putt putting and I didn't have the camera on I had to fan this a couple of times to get some air in there and then it came back out boy a childhood fascination just smashed all the you know what but I don't know that was the uh, the way that things, things went back in the 60s, civil defense. Uh -huh. Okay, so, sorry, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.